Hi, welcome to Bistro 14. I'm Rich Vaughn, the chef owner, and today we're going to be preparing grilled tuna with roasted corn, shallots, and red peppers. The first thing you want to do when you're preparing this dish is to prepare the roasted shallots. Take a double layer of tin foil, you have a few sprigs of fresh thyme, a little cracked black pepper, and just a touch of salt, and a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Then you want to do is make this into a little package. You want to fold it up nice and neatly. You want to put this little package into a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until the shallots are nice and soft. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is do the corn. We have nice fresh corn. It's been shucked and husked and cleaned. We're going to lay that out on a sheet tray with a little bit of space in between each one. You're going to drizzle these with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some kosher salt, and some black pepper. These are ready to go into the oven, and you want to put them into a very hot oven, 475 to 500 degrees. But you want to cook them in a very high heat for just a short amount of time, no more than five minutes. So our corn is done, and we're going to take it off the cob now. Here in the restaurant, we have this handy little tool called the mandolin that is very good at taking the kernels off corn. So there's our corn off the cob. Now we're going to take our corn, put it into a bowl, and we're going to open up our package of shallots. The shallots have spent all that time in the oven and what they've been doing is they've been caramelizing. So they're very sweet. So these shallots just need to be sliced into a julienne, roughly. You just want them in bite-sized pieces. We're gonna add these directly to the corn. So now we have some roasted red bell peppers that we've uh, roasted until they're nice and charred black and peeled and cooled and then uh, sliced into a julienne. We're gonna add those to the corn as well. We're gonna season it with some fresh thyme, some more cracked black pepper, and some kosher salt. I mean, this would be good as a salad, but in order to make it a really good base for our fish, we're gonna warm it again, and we're going to mount the sauce with whole butter. Here's our tuna. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on it, some salt, and a little bit of cracked black pepper. I want to put it on the grill. The hotter your grill is, the better off you're going to be. You want to hear that nice sound when the tuna goes on. So while the tuna's cooking, we can heat up our corn. And we're going to get the fire going. Now take our corn. To help it cook, we're going to add a little bit of water. And we're going to let that get nice and hot while the tuna's cooking. All right, so our tuna is ready to turn. What we're going to do is we're going to get underneath the tuna. We're going to do a quarter turn. This way, when we take, when we turn it over, it'll have that nice cross-hashed mark that looks so nice on the plate. Okay, our tuna is ready to turn. This is a technique we call mont au beurre. It's a mounting with butter, with whole butter. What you're going to do is you're going to use the juices, and we're going to make a sauce with the corn and the juices from the peppers and the shallots. You want to make sure you keep your sauce on a low flame while you're doing this. You want the butter to melt, but you don't want the butter to break and become oily. So we're ready to plate this now. Top it off with our nice piece of tuna. And there you have it. Grilled tuna served on a bed of roasted corn, shallots, and roasted peppers.